That's right, Kara. Obviously, this morning I drew the short straw when we were deciding on the stories, and trust me, be glad they have not invented smell vision yet because the birds are right above me. We are in the danger zone, these egrets. They're up and stirring this morning. They've moved into this neighborhood and they are not good neighbors. They moved in back in March here just north of the Sam Rayburn Tollway. Not only do they refuse to do yard work, they actually mess up other people's yards, the sidewalks, the cars, because they do well, what birds are known to do and what makes it even worse is they have the law on their side. They're a federally protect, protected bird, so anyone who tries so, to so much as touch them could be heavily fined. So na neighbors can't do much other than squawk in frustration. It smells like dead fish in your front yard. Rotten eggs, worse maybe. My son's been pooped on. We can't park our cars in the, in the street. It looks like somebody splattered paint all over our sidewalk. Now the city council is trying to find a solution. They will talk to a biologist at their next meeting. The problem is though, not a whole lot can be done until next season, meaning these birds will likely be here through the summer. Now, Ron and Kara, you showed that Alfred Hitchcock movie. Ever since I saw that movie, I've never liked any bird that doesn't <laughs> talk to you. That's the one good thing they do. Okay, talk have, to you. have you had any close calls out there? Is your umbrella clean still? I <laughs> well, I'm keeping my distance. So far, the umbrella is clean, but we have seen and heard the uh, bombs, if you want to call them that. <laughs> okay, all right. Not good for the cars either. The car washes <laughs> there are cleaning up in that area of the colony. All right, thank you very much. We appreciate that, Chris. Yeah.